Good morning, everyone. It's Friday, and I'm so happy to be back. Let's sing our good morning song. Are you ready? Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. Way down in the nest, the little birds rest. With a wing on the left and a wing on the right, they snuggle down deep all through the night. Shh, they're sleeping. Then the bright sun comes up and the dew falls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. Good morning, everybody. Let's sing the kindergarten song. Do you remember that one? I hope that you do. I hope that you'll sing it with me. Ready? When I was a little kid not so long ago, I had to learn a lot of stuff I didn't even know. How to dress myself and tie my shoes. How to jump a rope. How to smile for a picture without looking like a dope. But of all the things I learned, my favorite of them all was the little poem hanging on the kindergarten wall. Of all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and clean up your mess. Take a nap every day and wash before you eat. Hold hands, stick together, look before you cross the street. And remember the seed in the little paper cup. First the roots grow down and then the plant grows up. Well, it was first grade, first, second, third grade, fourth grade too, where I had to learn the big things that big kids do. To add, subtract, and multiply, to read and write and play. How to sit in a little uncomfortable desk for nearly half a day. But of all the things they taught me, of all the great and small, still my favorite was the poem on the kindergarten wall. Of all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and clean up your mess. Take a nap every day and wash before you eat. Hold hands, stick together, look before you cross the street. And remember the seed in the little paper cup. First the roots grow down and then the plant grows up. Lately I've been worried as I look around and see an awful lot of grown-ups acting foolish as can be. I know there's lots of things to learn I haven't mastered yet. Still, it seems there's real important stuff that grown-ups soon forget. So I'm sure we'd all be better off if we would just recall the little poem hanging on the kindergarten wall. Of all you learn here, remember this the best. Don't hurt each other and clean up your mess. Take a nap every day and wash before you eat. Hold hands, stick together, look before you cross the street. And remember the seed in the little paper cup. First the roots grow down and then the plant grows up. I sang the whole song today. Normally we only sing the first part. And maybe you haven't even heard the second and third parts of that song. Well, I hope that you enjoyed it. Today, I'm going to read the story of Ferdinand. And this story was written by Monroe Leaf, and it was illustrated by Robert Lawson. This was one of my favorite books when I was a little girl. I hope that you enjoy it today. Once upon a time in Spain. Do you know where Spain is? It's on the red continent of Europe. There was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He just liked to sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. 
Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid that he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. She was a good mama. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to just sit quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him, and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. Well, he didn't look where he was sitting. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that's just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Wow, did it hurt? Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of them all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. So they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. Here he is right here. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Can you see? Here's a lady right here. And there's her flowers. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the bandoleros with their long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadors who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. And then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They called him Ferdinand the Fierce and all the bandoleros were afraid of him and the picadors were afraid of him and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around.
but not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandoleros were mad. And the picadors were madder. And the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and his sword. So they had to take Ferdinand home. And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. He is very happy. The end. But um bump. Before we go, I have something very exciting to tell you. And tomorrow is Aiden's birthday. He's going to be five years old. So we need to sing happy birthday to Aiden. We're going to do that right now. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Aiden. Happy birthday to you. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday tomorrow. And it's so exciting that you're turning five. All right. The other thing that I was going to tell you is, guess what? We have a butterfly. We had five caterpillars. Five caterpillars made cocoons. And so far, one has hatched out of his cocoon or chrysalis. And he has turned into a beautiful butterfly. He didn't have his wings open. They were still closed, but I took a picture and I'm going to put it at the end of this video. All right. I hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Have Oh, and have a wonderful weekend. All right. Bye.